we, oh my gosh. My face feels so gross right now. <laughs> Hola hermosas, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing super, super well. So today we have a funny video for you guys. Like, I mean, it's not supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be like a serious foundation review video, but we kind of had a little bit of a mishap. Yeah, that happened, but we made it work and I decided not to quit. So we're still doing this video. We're here, we're ready. It's happening. Today we're going to be doing a review on the new NYX Born to Glow Foundation. Look at it. Look at it. I just want to like eat it. It looks like a chocolate bar. New NYX Born to Glow Foundation, which is supposed to be a super, super glowy, hydrating foundation. Very, very nice for your skin. It has oils infused, vitamin E. It's buildable and it comes in 45 shades, which I think is incredible. And it's $10. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is only $10. Yes. Though it is. The only thing is we're not doing a full wear test on this because I don't see anywhere where it says it's supposed to last like 24 hours or 15 hours, anything like that. I haven't been able to find it. So we're just going to do a regular wear test. I'm going to wear this for a couple of hours for like maybe four to five hours. I'll come back, give you guys an update and we'll see how it lasted. It's 2.23 p.m. I'll probably be back at like five or six. We'll see what's going on with this foundation, but that's what we're doing. We're doing a wear test video. I hope you guys enjoy this foundation review. If you guys have tried this new foundation, let me know down below your thoughts, opinions, concerns. Todo eso, I want to know what you guys think of this new foundation. Please don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. Turn on the little notification bell, por favor, so you can be notified anytime I upload new videos. And yeah, let's just jump right into this review. Let's just dive right into the foundation, you guys. This is the NYX Born to Glow Collection. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and read some information about this foundation before we go ahead and apply it and do our wear test video and all that jazz. All right, so this foundation has 45 shades. Bitch, what? 45 shades? That is incredible. I know they're, uh, what's the foundation I like from them? The NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop? Is it? Is that, is that one from them? I don't remember, but their foundation that I did a review on, I absolutely love that foundation. I think I do remember that they did have a lot of shades on it. So I'm happy that they're also including a huge shade range for their newer foundation. So, so anyways, they have 45 shades, which I think is incredible. It's also infused with jojoba oil. It has vitamin E blend. It's supposed to be buildable coverage, so it kind of starts off a little bit, I wouldn't want to say sheer, but a little bit, you know, softer. And then you obviously can keep building and building how cakey you want to be depends on you and i love the quote turn up the radiance on your natural beauty because all day every day and in every light you are born to glow and that's that anyways these are only ten dollars which i think is absolutely insane like i forgot how reasonable and affordable nyx is i think this is amazing ten dollars let's go ahead and just apply the foundation all right, so let's give you a tour of my face real quick. I'm having a little bit of a breakout moment. I've been eating a lot of dairy lately, which is not good. Now, hopefully this foundation can cover up some of this redness that we got going on here. We're gonna see if we can cover up these pimples that I got going on here. But other than that, that's pretty much the only area that I really wanna focus on. I don't think I'm the super lightest shade, honestly. Like, that's not me. This one is nude. This one is in the shade, here, I'll, sh I'll show you guys nice. This is in the shade nude. And the next one is natural. This is nude and natural put together. Oh wow, nude definitely has like a yellow tint. Can you guys see that? It's like super, super yellow. You have warm vanilla, which might, oh, you guys, I literally cannot. And then these definitely are not gonna be my shades. So I'll put them in a giveaway for you guys. If, hopefully you guys match the shade. If not, I'll buy it for you guys. This one is in true beige, and then this one is in soft beige, true beige. As you can see, they're pretty dark for me, so no thank you. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Natural. This is the one that seems the best for me. It's the second to lightest one in the little kit that they sent me. Now, I do have oily skin. I get a lot of questions about this, like why I use glowy foundations if I have oily skin. And for me personally, I prefer an oily foundation than being completely matte and cakey. If I use my Maybelline Super Stay and I put it over my nose or I put it like in areas where I usually look cakey, like around my mouth and a little bit right here, I look like a hot cakey mess and it's just disgusting and I feel really like ugh, like gross, like heavy makeup. When I use a glowy foundation and I kind of just mattified it a little bit with some powder and some mattifying spray, it works perfectly fine for me. I prefer that feeling of like feeling dewy and fresh than feeling super matte and like an empanada. You know what I mean? Like feeling like a cake. 
not for me. Obviously, I know the risks that come with it. My face is gonna be oily and all that stuff, but I prefer that than just being a nasty little cake face. So there's a reason. So, so let's go ahead and get started. I feel like I recently did a foundation review. Like this is like deja vu right now of a glowy. Oh, it was the Avon one. I reviewed it for my Spanish channel. I remember now. No wonder I was like, I was having deja vu, date, bitch. <laughs> I was having deja vu of this. I was like, I remember applying a glowy foundation recently, but it was from Avon. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh shit, I put way too much. So much came out in one little, I barely squeezed it. Oh honey. Oh my gosh. You guys. We fucked up. We already applied way too much on one. Oh my god, this is gonna look so cake. <laughs> I'm literally just like, what do I? I don't want to waste foundation. But can we talk about how this like paints you though? Like, I feel like I'm painting right now. Oh, let's go ahead and try this and see what happens. You guys. No. No, this is not gonna work. I have to, I just wasted product, you guys. Like, this sucks. <laughs> I'm literally like, what the fuck? Okay, side note, even though I put on way too much foundation and I look psychotic, I think it matches pretty nicely. Like it looks like it matches perfectly with my neck. I am very upset right now. Like I cannot believe I put that much on and I didn't want to take it all off because I'm like, that's such a waste. So now I need to find a way to blend all this out because this is the current situation. This is where I'm at in life right here. I'm just I'm just like so su not surprised on myself for doing that when I was saying oh my god I don't want to look cakey in this video like I want to do it like so well and then I go on putting a pound of makeup on you guys I literally did not mean to put that much on like it was an accident but I didn't want to wait oh my gosh <sighs> my face feels so gross right now <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna keep blending it out I'm just gonna have to take another sponge a clean one because this one is literally disgusting now and we're gonna have to get to work, ladies. Sorry, I'm so sorry, you guys, if, if I ruin this video for you guys. I could refilm it. I might refilm it. I'm not, I don't know. All right, you guys, I am back. What a journey. I was able to fix the foundation, and it honestly looks so good right now. Like, I've never loved my makeup so much in my life. Basically, how I fixed it is I took a sponge, just like a clean beauty. Well, it's not clean anymore, honey, but it was clean. It was like this, and I took it, and I took off the excess. And I was able to make it work, and I honestly really, really love the outcome of it. I just am dying so much because I love how at the beginning I was like, we're not going to be cakey. Like, this is like a super lightweight foundation. It's buildable. And then I went ahead and applied like eight pounds onto my face. It's weird. It oxidized pretty quickly. Like, at the beginning, if you guys remember the first clip, it looked pretty fine on me. I was like, wow, this matches perfectly. It looks really, really great. And now that I'm looking at it, I think it oxidized a little bit too dark. I don't know if it's just me imagining it. I barely put any bronzer on. Honestly, I didn't really do much to my face. I just put a little bit of bronzer, blush, and highlight. But I feel like I look a little bit darker right now. So I definitely think that if you got this foundation, you need to go one shade lighter because it'll oxidize to your actual shade. That's just what I'm noticing right now. I think it hella oxidized. Like here's a little bit of the foundation line a little bit. And I normally never have that with foundations and it wasn't there at the beginning. So it's definitely a foundation that oxidizes. But other than that, I think it looks gorgeous. Okay, so far thoughts on the foundation. I think it's a nice foundation. I definitely think I put a little bit too much, but even then over applying it, I don't feel that cakey. Like I actually don't feel like I have super heavy makeup on anymore obviously just a little bit in the nose area feels a little bit funky to me but other than that i'm like i don't really have a problem with it i think it looks gorgeous what do you guys think let me know how it looks like obviously i'll catch you guys up in a few hours to see how it looks like throughout the day if it got super oily if it got super crazy i don't think it's a long lasting foundation but i still want to test it out for a few hours because you know normally if you have a foundation on you're gonna wear it for like at least four hours so i'll catch up with you guys in at four to five hours whenever i get off work and we'll see how the foundation looks like. so i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can see how it looks like up close and then i'll see you guys in a little bit 
Bye. All right, are we live? Are we live? Are we in action? All right, this is, I turned off one of my lights. This is how it would look like if I had it on. It's not turning on. <laughs> Anyways, that's how it would look like if I had the light on, but I'm gonna turn it off so you guys can see. Realistically, this is what we got going on. Like I said, or like you guys saw, I definitely applied way too much, but I was able to blend it out. And this is what we got going on. So it looks a little bit crazy. Not gonna lie, it looks a little bit crazy, but I know if I had just applied a normal amount, I would totally love this foundation. So we'll check back in in a couple of hours, see how it looks. But so far, you know, if anything is crusty and dusty, I can't blame the foundation. I can only blame myself. <sighs> okay, guys, this is so weird. I didn't feel like setting this up on my tripod, so I literally put it on my mic stand right now because I was like, I do not feel like doing this. I wanna take off my makeup. I feel pretty crusty and dusty right now. As you guys can see, I look literally insane okay so it is we finished filming this at 2 38 p.m i believe it's now 6 17 p.m i don't know if you guys can see that i'm feeling a little bit oily i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling a little bit oily i'm sure you guys can see i mean you can kind of see right here it's gotten a little bit oily i mean it's a glowy foundation i'm obviously gonna be oily but it doesn't look crazy i haven't done any touch-ups i literally just went to work i went to work like this you guys like I literally had no shame today. I was like, you know what? It's just one of those days where I'm just gonna go to work like this Ini modo. So I didn't do any touch-ups. I didn't bring any powder with me. I just got home literally five seconds ago And I haven't done any touch-ups. So I imagine if I had been doing touch-ups Just adding a little bit of powder or maybe some blotting paper all of that It would look good like it would look reasonable. It would look just like, you know, you have foundation on your face it would look like that, but since I haven't done any touch-ups, obviously it looks a little bit glowy, a little bit too luminous and all that. So I love the coverage. I mean, I know I put so much on and I definitely need to do another take on this with just applying like a normal amount to see how the coverage is on the first try. But honestly, this foundation, I think it's pretty good. It's $10. It's definitely a foundation that I would keep purchasing if I run out of it. I definitely would recommend it to someone if they're looking for a quick, glowy, hydrating foundation. I think this one is really, really nice. Yeah, I mean, nothing too crazy. It doesn't really stand out to me. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's just a glowy, hydrating foundation that gets the job done. But it's nothing that's just like out there where I'm like, oh my God, this foundation is like life-changing. Like, damn, you need this. It's a good foundation and that's it. Yeah, sorry, it was a little bit different format, but I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation review. I hope you guys got to see it up close to see how it looks like on the skin how it applies on my face, how it wore for a couple of hours. I mean, I still think it looks good. Like, imagine if I just put some powder on right now, like I would look popping. Yeah, that's it for today, hermosas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, por favor, if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you guys are new to my channel, por favor. That would mean so much to me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, hermosas.